guys, what's up? I hope everyone's well. And in this lesson, we're gonna take a look at how to install Tailwind CSS. And we're gonna start with the CLI tool. And then we're gonna look at how to install Tailwind CSS using a framework. And finally, we're gonna take a look at how you can just install Tailwind using a content delivery network or CDN. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what I have set up here. So I just set up a folder called Tailwind in my codes directory. And then over here, I just turned on Live Server, the plugin for VS Code. And I went to a browser and I typed in my local host. And then I just mapped that port to the one that is also similar to the port down here from the Live Server. So the first thing that I'd like to do is that I'd like to make a directory and I'm going to call that directory source. So inside of this, you'll see that. And I'm going to CD into source and I'm going to create a file. I'm going to touch and it's going to be called index.html is the file I'd like to create. And I'm going to use Emmet and I'm going to create a scaffold for this source file or a document file. I'm also going to change the title to Tailwind. And to make sure this is working, I'm going to go over here to the browser and I'm going to point it directly to the source. So right now you should see that the HTML document over here is being reflected in the browser and has the same title over here that we have inside of the actual editor. So next up, we're gonna install Tailwind via NPM. So if you're not familiar with NPM, be sure to check out the video on the channel on how to set up NPM and get that running. So I'm gonna type in NPM install and I'm gonna use this flag dash D and I'm gonna type in Tailwind CSS. And I'm gonna run this command. And what it's going to do is going to generate a folder, which is called the nodes module folder. And it's also going to generate two other files, a package.json file and a package-lock.json file. So if we were to click inside here and just have a sneak peek, we'll see that we have a dev dependency. That's what the D flag is for. And you'll notice that it's version 3.023. Okay. And the lock file just kind of keeps track of that as well. The next command will be npm, oh, sorry, npx, tailwind, and we're gonna init, okay? So that's npm, tailwind CSS, initialize. And what we're doing here is we are creating the tailwind config file. And if you have a look at the moment, the content structure is kind of empty, but we're gonna tell it which files we'd like to target. And to do so, I'm just gonna copy this snippet and I'll explain to you what it means. So I'm just gonna paste in this snippet here and it's gonna target any of the files within the source directory that has an extension of .html or .js for JavaScript. And we're gonna save this and we're gonna also close this again. And we're gonna jump back down to our terminal. We're just gonna check our present working directory and we're gonna CD into source. And the reason that we're gonna do this is because we'd like to create another file called input.css and this could be called anything that you really want, but this is gonna be where we're gonna house all the different layers or components that are available for Tailwind CSS. So we're gonna create a file, we're gonna to say touch, and we're gonna call this one input.css, and it's gonna create a file within the source directory, and we're gonna add the main components that are required for Tailwind to run and these are them. So we have Tailwind Base, Tailwind Components, and Tailwind Utilities. So we're also gonna save that file as well. We are also going to just CD up a directory. We're gonna PWD, and we're just gonna clear this one more time. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna close this, and we're also gonna run a command that's gonna allow us to scan the, our template that we created for any classes and build them out to CSS. So we're gonna use MPX for that, and we're gonna type in tailwind CSS, and we're gonna use the dash I flag, and we're gonna target the source directory, and within that source directory, we're gonna target the input.css file. And we're also going to add another option here, and we're gonna create a distribution folder, and we're gonna output all of the contents that get scanned and compiled into this other file called output.css. And we're gonna run this last command, which is watch. And it's basically just gonna pull everything. And when we create new Tailwind content or we add classes, it's gonna compile and we're gonna be able to see that in our live server if we do a refresh. And you can see over here on the left in the Explorer, 
we have the output file, which has generated a CSS output file of all the Tailwind layers that we had pulled in from the actual input file over here. So if we were to test this out, we can jump into our index directory and we'll just close these two for now. And we'll go to index and then we'll just paste in the actual link to where the output file is. So we can go into the header and we can create a link and we're gonna to point to the distribution directory and then we're gonna to point to the output.css folder and we're just gonna do some due diligence here and we'll make a relative and it will be a style sheet. And we're just gonna paste in a little snippet here to make sure everything is working, okay? So once we save this file, we'll notice that it's rebuilding and it recompiles. And over here on the right, we can see that it's working because it has allowed us to have our classes that are pulled in from Tailwind with the underline represented by the text hello world. If you wanna just kinda you know, make sure you can just say, maybe change the color and set the text to say gray. Actually, that won't help. Let's try blue and we'll set it to blue like 400 and then we'll save that out. We'll give this a refresh and you can see over here, yeah, it's definitely working. So that's it for setting up Tailwind using a CLI. Next, we're gonna take a look at how to set up Tailwind using a framework and the framework we're gonna use is Laravel. So don't forget to like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts below. Hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Until next time.